Welcome to the Market Moon Lord, where we merge the matrix with the stars. I'm your host, Jason Alexander. So we talked yesterday about seeing the uh, trend go back up from the new moon. Uh, we got the full moon dip instead of the pop, which was fine. Um, I was I mentioned a dip's better than the full moon drop, right? So everything just kind of dipped into that full moon. And now we're back to going up to an uptrend, which is exactly what we're looking for. Um, Bitcoin is looking super strong because Bitcoin only like stalled out. It didn't really have too much of a dip. Um, one thing I want to mention about uh, Bitcoin, right, is if you count uh, after the full moon, one, two, three, four, right, four, it always kind of like goes back or always changes trend. So one, two, three, four, see, after the full moon. Uh, one, two, excuse me, one, two, three, four, right? And kind of right there, we're going to see a big of a change, but you get my point. Uh, one, two, three, four. Bitcoin always makes a move four days after the full moon. I find that, or it has been recently. I find that interesting. Um, but yeah, everything's looking good. Uh, basically you want to see everything start going back up, um, past, and then I'll start getting excited once we get past the, uh, full moon high right uh so GameStop, i'll be excited around these areas amc obviously i'll start getting excited once we wa go into that eclipse launch pad right because GameStop's way past all of them are way past the eclipse launch pad except for amc right so we need amc to get back there um bitcoin is looking solid let bitcoin do what bitcoin does um tesla or this is spy spy is looking good um spy did the new moon dip and i was headed towards the uptrend again um yeah, I'm going to talk about what I see coming tomorrow in a second here. One thing about DLT, which is our DJT is really interesting is it's getting a lot of full moon pop. So I'm definitely tracking that. Um, one thing I need you guys to realize is stocks like um, GameStop, um, Trump stock and the uh, Tesla. Those are really good because um, those are heavily controlled by the individuals who own the stocks and st or the CEOs and whatnot. Right. Um, therefore I can kind of track their stars too and get even more information, but look at, look at, uh, DJT, right? Full moon. It's a nice little, well here, reverse trend after that full moon. Look at this one. All right. So I am going to be looking at a lot at his, uh, chart and try to like line up where I can see pops on DJT. I find that pretty interesting. It's following, following the moon phase is pretty good. Um, and yeah, so everything's looking good. One thing I want to talk to you guys about tomorrow, I have 9.30 a.m. up. Very interesting. If you look at where the moon is, it starts the day at zero degrees Leo and directly opposite of the Aquarius. I have 9.30. I have 9.30 a.m. pretty much up. The moon moves really quickly, right? So for it to be zero degrees across uh, Pluto when it's zero degrees, is very interesting that is happening tomorrow at 9 30 a.m and if you look here it's zero degrees leo when mars the planet of war is right there and opposite of pluto is the planet of death right um so this is if you look here how pluto is red and mars is red this is a very passionate high energy uh moment in the sky okay please do not get it twisted with uh this situation now i want to i want to show you the end of the day, this is four thirty, or four o'clock. Look at where that mar look where the moon's at. Okay, um, so that moon is hitting the sun at twenty nine degrees. Scorpio. All right, we all know this zero degree and the twenty ninth degree are the most important degrees, or the biggest degrees where there's a lot of like I want to say most important, but there's a lot of energy there, right? Um, so yeah, the sun tomorrow is switching from the 28th degree to the 29th degree very interesting while that means the following day on um thursday it'll be in the zero degree why pluto still zero degree so very interesting week we have still okay i feel like it's just the beginning i'm a little nervous about the war situation um if nothing bad happens by the end of the day tomorrow and that moon can leave that Mars, I think we may be pretty safe for now. Um, but that, you know, Scorpio is a heavy duty, like transformative power struggle type sign. Okay. 
and it's at the last degrees. Okay, so you guys heard it first. There's a lot of uh, tense emotions out there. Uh, this is a great energy for FOMO. So we see GameStop start popping off. Uh, FOMO can go crazy. Okay, um, but yeah, very high energy. Be careful with your energy. Be careful with um, just your emotions tomorrow. Okay, so I'll leave it there. You guys, let me know how you feel. Um, you guys, let me know how you feel about today. Uh, let me know how you feel about the energy in the, in the sky. Uh, until next time, I'm Jason Alexander, Blue Moon and Neptune, here to help you navigate through the illusions of life. You're watching Mark Moon Lord, where you merge makes with the stars. I'm here. Until next time, peace. <laughs>